Staten Island, meanwhile, pushing back against congestion pricing. The borough president says the tolling plan is unfair, and he plans to sue. PIX 11's Kieran Dillon is live on the Upper West Side with more where they're already installing the stuff that they need to hit us with a toll, Kieran. Hi, good morning, Kristen. Well, the MTA says it is full speed ahead with congestion pricing. As you said, they've already started installing here where we are at 61st and West End um, monitors to track people that go south of 60th Street in Manhattan. That's where uh, congestion pricing is, is going to hit you starting next spring. But there are some jurisdictions, including New Jersey and Staten Island, that are saying, hey, hey, not so fast. We are going to do what we can to put an end to congestion pricing. Staten Island Borough President Vito Fasella said he's leading a Staten Island initiative to sue to put an end to congestion pricing. He says be the plan will impact his residents negatively, both financially and environmentally. I'll sue pre in, as a borough president or I could sue individually. So and we're going to see, we already have other elected officials who have agreed to be plaintiffs. We're the only borough in the city that has to pay a toll to go off the island and come back. No other county, and this is not against the other counties, it's just something we have to live with. So along comes this scheme to impose additional costs on a daily basis to people who are already. And you know, it's, who's going to affect the most? The person who's on the margins, who can't afford that. So exactly who Fasella will sue, the MTA or the Department of Transportation is still being ironed out. But his announcement comes on the heels of New Jersey saying last week that it is suing the federal DOT to stop congestion pricing on the grounds of a more thorough environmental review. Meantime, the MTA says, uh, you know, their plan will improve the mass transit system, cut down on congestion and reduce emissions in Manhattan. But on Staten Island, drivers say they deserve to be exempt. Everything is going up. They're going to increase now. Gas, electric, eight, nine percent. Then the toll here, you go into Manhattan now, it'll cost you maybe $75. By the time you park, you pay for the bridge, you pay for the congestion. So the MTA has not decided what tolls will be and uh, which drivers will be exempt. That's really important uh, to point out. They're still ironing out those details. But in response to this potential lawsuit from Staten Island, the MTA uh, actually directed me yesterday to its statement of the New Jersey lawsuit. They gave us that on Friday and they basically said refer to that. And that statement says that the New Jersey lawsuit is basically baseless and the plan was thoroughly reviewed for economic and environmental issues before it was approved federally. So basically they're just saying that the New Jersey lawsuit is similar to what this potential Staten Island lawsuit could be and uh, they're prepared for any lawsuits and they think that they could definitely win uh, if it were to go to court. Meantime, all we know for sure right now, Kirsten, is that congestion pricing as of today is set to go into effect next spring, April 2024. That is the latest from the Upper West Side. Kieran Dillon, PIX11 News. Whether you're ready or